results of Kenya has just achieved is a benchmark to other African countries. Yes, it's a benchmark to other African countries that demands good governance. Kenya has proved to all of us, especially Nigerians, that if truly you demand justice, if truly you demand good governance, you can achieve it. Just imagine, hours ago, Kenyan president just came out and dissolved the whole cabinet. Guys, you know what it means to dissolve the whole cabinet, leaving only one seat. However, even with the progress we have made, I am acutely aware that the people of Kenya have very high expectations of me. And they believe that this administration can undertake the most extensive transformation in our nation's history. Recent events that necessitated the withdrawal of the finance bill, which will require a review and reorganization of our budget and fiscal management, have brought us to an inflection point. Upon reflection, listening keenly to what the people of Kenya have said, and after a holistic appraisal of the performance of my cabinet and its achievements and challenges, I have today, in line with the powers given to me by Article 1521 and 1525B of the Constitution and Sections 130, Sections 12 of the Office of the Attorney General's Act, decided to dismiss with immediate effect all the Cabinet Secretaries and Attorney General of the Republic of Kenya, of the Cabinet of Kenya, except the Prime Cabinet Secretary and Cabinet Secretary for Secretary uh, and Secretary for and Cabinet Secretary for Foreign Affairs and Diaspora Affairs, and of course the office of the Deputy President is not affected. The Kenya you did today showed us African continent showed us in the African continent with bad governors, with bad leaders that if we demand good leadership, we can get it. The only thing is, are we ready to pay the price? That's the issue. Who is ready to pay the price? I know a lot of Nigerians are planning on doing uh, or starting this revolution. But at the end of the day, when you when you remember what happened during the NSAS protests, how the gov how the government of Nigeria killed people during their peaceful protests, everybody gets afraid. What we, what if I'm the one that they shoot next? What if I'm the one that dies next? But at the end of the day, if something like this is to be achieved, a huge price needs to be paid. And Kenyan youth, the ones that died during this protest, have paid that price. I see what is happening now. See what is happening now. So this is a new dawn for the people of Kenya. And I have to say a big shout out to these youths that came out in their numbers. And a big congratulations for the government, for the president also for not being headstrong and uh, knowing that, okay, something needs to change. And also and going toward this and changing it. Guys, I have to say, Kenya youth, you guys made the whole African continent proud. And uh, we are so happy for you. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.